Good evening, everyone. So today we have writing session three, and our trainer for today is Mrs. Annapurna Murugan. These are a few instructions for you all. Sure, you have a stable internet connection and a noise-free environment, for which we recommend you to use your earphones for the best experience. Also, respect your instructor, your classmates, and yourself. Be respectful and professional, and do not write anything in in the chat box. Moving ahead, we have these three memberships at Ubergrad, bronze, silver, and gold, with some additional benefits as displayed on the screen. So, for getting yourselves upgraded to any of these three, you can directly go on the website of Ubergrad and get yourselves upgraded there. Also, I'll be sharing a coupon code with you guys, using which you can easily uh, upgrade yourself from basic to bronze membership at a very discounted rate. So moving ahead, we have free profile evaluation, which is done by our experts, which consists of university shortlisting, course recommendations, and recommendations, which are made according to a student's requirements, future aspirations, course of study, academic profile, academic strengths, and career objectives. Moreover, we also have recommendations report customized for the students according to their requirements and profile. And we have doubt clearance regarding the study abroad process consisting of shortlisting applications, scholarships, etc. Moving ahead at Ubergrad, you also have these free live classes. So firstly, we have free Duolingo live classes, which goes on from Monday to Friday, 6.30 to 7.30. We also have live PT classes, which goes on from Monday to Friday, 6.30 to 7.30. It's a weekly sessional test as well. It includes this. And it's a four-week course with listening, writing, reading, and speaking. Moreover, we also have free GRD Life classes, which goes on from Monday to Friday, 8.30 to 9.30. Uh, and it's a two-month course. So for getting yourselves upgraded, um, enrolled for any of these three, you can directly go on the website of Ubergrad and get yourselves enrolled there. Moving ahead, we also have one-on-one -on -one IELTS classes, which is when you upgrade yourself to the gold membership. It's just for rupees five triple nine, and you get benefits like 20 hours live classes, class recordings, daily class worksheets, 10 plus sessional tests, five full length mock tests. So it's a very good opportunity if you guys want more mock tests for your practice. Uh, this uh, feature would be very uh, good and beneficial for you guys. So moving ahead. These are the achievements of the students who got themselves enrolled at Ubergrad. Now I'll quickly show you the website. All right, so this is the website of Ubergrad. Over here, you can explore a lot of information related to various countries, universities, courses, and examinations. Moreover, we also have free profile evaluation. So under free profile evaluation, so as you can see that it is done by our experts, and you can book your expert slot according to your preferred date and time. And we also have talk to a counselor option, AI country recommendations, AI course recommendations, test preparation stores consisting of live IELTS, live GRD, live Duolingo, and live PTE classes, as I mentioned before. Some additional services consisting of education loans, Forex card, accommodation, international SIM, US credit card, US bank account, etc. And blogs are also uploaded, so you can just check out all these features which are um, already there on the website of Ubergrad, that is ubergrad.com. Now, as I mentioned of the upgradation of uh, option, you can directly go on to the uh, website that is ubergrad.com, go on to upgrade and over here you can upgrade yourself to all the uh, to the other three memberships that is bronze, silver and gold. And uh, the recordings, the handouts and the sessional tests are also available to you on the website itself. So for that, directly go on the website, go on to your name, my test preparation, Go on to IELTS Academy Comprehensive Life Classes course. On clicking on that uh, option, you, it would direct you to this particular page. Now, as you all know that we have four modules under IELTS, listening, reading, speaking, and writing. So for example, you want the access to yesterday's uh, recording. So yesterday was basically session two. So directly go on writing, go on day two, and the first option would be the access to the handout of that particular session and the module. And the last option would be the access to the recording of that particular session in the module. So when I clicked on the last uh, option, it has directed me to writing day two recording, that is 2nd of January. So in the same way, you can access the recordings and the handouts of all the other sessions conducted under various modules. And after you complete each module, you can also go on to the sessional test part and Check your progress by just uh, 
giving the quiz that is uh, there. All right. So, um, yeah, we have the sessional test for all the other um, modules as well. So you can uh, check your progress of all the other modules also. Now, uh, also, I'll be sharing a Telegram channel link in the chat box. You can directly join the Telegram channel of IELTS and uh, make yourselves available to all the information that is uploaded there on a daily basis. And also mock tests would be available to you there. For more mock tests for your practice, you can always go on to uh, and make yourself available with the other features that we that I mentioned off. All right. So now I'll quickly hand over the session to our trainer for today, Mrs. Annapuna Murugan, ma'am. So, uh, ma'am, are you there on call? Hi, good evening. Good evening, ma'am. You can take over. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. Hi, guys. Good evening. I guess everyone is doing good for the day. Yes, all set to learn writing paragraph because yesterday we discussed how we need to present the paragraph. I mean, the how we need to analyze the paragraphs. And, hi, guys. Hi, Priyanshi, Sandesh, everyone. Hi, Ananya. Hi, Ahmed. Hi. So, good evening. Okay. So, today let us at least construct one or two. Uh, this one. Hello, Tanmit. Okay. So, Durgesh. Hi. Karan. Hi. So, everyone. Hi, guys. Okay. So, let me share the screen quickly and let me construct uh, paragraphs for you. So, and then, uh, so if the time permits, so let us discuss about this task two as well. Okay. So, now let me share the screen for you guys quickly. Hi guys, hi guys, everyone, and good evening to all. Yes, here we have. So we were supposed to write certain things here. Okay. Now, see, I would like to take little difficult one so that you people can understand how you can write this. Okay. So I'll just. Uh, what is that? Uh, minimize the screen here so that when I, I'll try to write the body paragraph here only. Deacon. I guess everyone could see the screen. Can anyone confirm? Yes, ma'am, it's visible. You okay. can go on. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So I said I'll be uh, presenting the complete uh, this one report writing okay so what i'll do i'll be presenting complete uh, report writing right from introduction to your body paragraphs okay so what is that we have here so if you see uh, the question statement basically here they are talking eating sweet foods produces acid in the mouth which can cause tooth decay Okay, so they are saying that the eating sweet food will cause uh, acid in the mouth. It will generate acid. And that is the thing so which will cause the tooth decay. Yeah. That means eye levels are measured by, eye acid levels are measured by low pH values and describe the information. So this is what graph? This is line graph. So right now here I'm presenting body, uh, this one introduction, guys, try, kindly see here. So I'm presenting the introduction. Just see the presented, the presented line graph, line graph compares, compares the amount, the intensity of the intensity of acid produced produced in the mouth in the mouth by the consumption of by the consumption of various sugars various sugars by the consumption of so intensity of acid produced in the mouth by the consumption of 
various sugars okay so this is one thing i'm going to write and this is our first statement of introduction second statement is what initial overview i've said about this okay so what is that we see we have a threshold frequency what is that 5.5 is the thing we have and we see that uh, so below that the acid level will be more that means if the ph level drops the acid will be high the uh, the intensity of acid will be more if the ph level increases so the acid level will be less and uh, uh, this one what is that the tooth decay uh, this one uh, problem also will be less so that means what we can say here so as uh, yeah the initial overview the initial analysis analysis of the graph of the graph presents presents the fact that fact that as the ph level increases as the ph level increases increases the proportion or so the threat of tooth decay or tooth decay decreases okay so that means what as like even i could have written like this so presence the fact that the ph level is inversely proportional to the threat of tooth decay that also i could have written see i have presented this particular thing this is our introduction so now let me write the body paragraph one what i'm doing so we are doing the body paragraph one i'm using different color so that you people can understand here see we should always recognize we can't write the numbers here okay time is there and this one is there so uh, just if we keep on writing the numbers it won't be good so therefore we should be very careful here now what is that you people can decide here so it is absorbed that what immediately after consumption of the uh, any sugar type the ph value reduces that means the acidity in the mouth increases and uh, so by what is that five minutes you will see that the uh, level of acid in the mouth will be uh, in such a way that it contributes to the uh, to decay okay and uh, so what is wearing here means the wearing uh, here is that intensity of ph value okay so that means the acidity produced due to ani is less whereas the acid produced in the mouth okay so is more by through sugar it is more and for longer period okay it is more and longer period this is less than for shorter period of time so that is there okay we'll be discussing all these things but so tentatively after what is that half an hour no matter what sugar is consumed so the threat for two dk will be decreased okay this we can give it as a final statement that final overview but however so now we have these things what i do they have even presented this high acid levels low ph level something they have given and also threshold also they are saying so all these things so in the first paragraph i will be discussing about these things this thing and uh, the ph values how it varies these things uh, we will be discussing why because here i have said only what is that ph la level increases the threat for two dk decreases but i have not given the fact that as the ph level decreases the acidity will be more that thing we have not said here okay so we will be writing the first paragraph and look at the things when we write the paragraph we should make sure that in each paragraph one type of idea should be present okay so analysis of the graph analysis of 
the pictorial presentation of the given pictorial presentation presentation illustrates illustrates that that illustrates that so consumption of any sugar consumption of any sugar consumption of sugar sugar of any kind of any kind will decrease will increase increase the acid levels in the mouth acid levels in the mouth mouth it is also witnessed it is also witnessed witnessed that acidity in the mouth acidity acidity in mouth in mouth is inversely proportional proportional to the ph value of the mouth to the ph value of the mouth of the mouth the graph also depicts the graph also indicates indicates the threshold threshold ph value ph value under which under which the tooth decay tooth decay can occur due to the due to the increased intensity of intensity of acid see whatever it is given that generic ideas so we gave it you now the next paragraph i will be talking about what these three sugars compared we'll be doing here in the next paragraph we will be talking about the three sugars that is discussed now i will use the different colors so that you people can this one take it now now i will talk how these things are this one so father father it could be it could be documented documented that honey is that sugar type honey is that sugar type sugar type which poses less threat less threat of tooth decay less threat for tooth decay as 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 the acid levels the acid level produced by its consumption by its consumption in the mouth in the mouth is comparatively low is comparatively 
low and for it's comparatively low and is for very short period short period is very short period when compared with okay this is the thing it could be documented that honey is that sugar type which poses so poses okay so less threat to 2 dk has the acid level produced by its consumption in the mouth is comparatively low and is for very short period of time of time okay while while in contrast or while Fruit sugar, uh, no, cane sugar, cane sugar contribution, contribution to cavities of tooth, to cavities is greater, is greatest as it decreases decreases the ph value ph value drastically 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 below threshold below threshold ash threshold value for very long duration for very long time long time in the mouth okay so we said this also now the next thing that we have so we need to talk about what is that this one what is that uh, fruit sugar Yes, fruit sugar again poses. So it is moderate. Okay. But so let us write something in such a way that so cane sugar, uh, not cane sugar. So fruit sugars, uh, this one, a pH value drops below threshold for almost how many? So 5, 10, so quarter hour. It is also crystal clear. It, it is also crystal clear, crystal clear that true sugar, root sugar drops or drops the pH level pH level below below the reference point reference point for almost for drops the pH level below the reference point for almost almost quarter hour quarter hour after consumption after consumption of it consumption of it however however it is more dangerous more dangerous than it poses uh, it projects it projects more threat threat of two dk than uh, what is that honey but less threat than that of than that of what is that uh, cane sugar cane sugar 
she completely we wrote here na did we use any numbers did we use any kind of numbers here no isn't it but still as soon as anyone sees they can understand what we have given so now we need to give that final overview what is the final overview i just want to see that the first 5 minutes of consumption is really not dangerous or the no matter what sugar you are consuming the first 5 minutes so is not dangerous only like what is that so after 5 minutes or like from 5 minutes the danger starts so and post 5 35 minutes post half an hour of its consumption it tends to be neutral okay so here the last sentence that one sentence in the nutshell let me write the the final overview here okay let me just give me one second i'll just make space here ha huh. i'll write off here okay in the nutshell in the nutshell in the nutshell it could be it could be reported that first five first five minutes of consumption first five minutes of consumption of any of sugar is danger free is free of danger free of danger to buccal cavity buccal cavity while while post half an hour of consumption of the post half an hour half an hour of consumption consumption that means first 5 minutes i i'll write something like this wait let me put your like this first 5 minutes first 5 minutes oh so first 5 minutes and post half an hour half an hour of consumption consumption of sugar of sugar proves to be proves to be safe for buccal cavity for buccal cavity while buckle cavity this is the thing we have i'll just take you people through the uh, report writing just go through it then i'll ask you guys for uh, this one okay see this is the introduction go through it so and we have here what is that the first body paragraph you can see we discussed only one item and the second body paragraph we have okay so this is the thing we have okay oh something has been erased here uh, but you guys saw how did it go and finally we had our last part also i just gave see every time whatever we did so we did not uh, this one what is that 
uh, repeated anything. Okay. So now let me see if you people have any doubts on this. Just ask me. I'll clear the same. Yeah. 150 words, right? Yes. So uh, Nagarjun, yes, it should be 150 words, but you people can write up to 180 words also. Uh, Prakash, see, uh, why I write more here means I want to show how many ideas you people can pick it up. Okay. So that's the reason always I say, whenever I am writing, it will be crossing like more words. So why? Because I want to show how you people can generate many ideas. Okay. So, but make sure, take this, all this ideation methods and try to, what is that? You people limit to 150 to 200 words only. Okay. Because I need to show that how nicely you people can generate the words. I mean, generate the ideas, how nicely you people can take up. Uh, don't write more than 200 because, see, if the problem here is more than 200 words, if you write, you end up taking more time, isn't it? Even though I took very few minutes because I was explaining, after explaining also, I took not even 20 minutes to present your writings, okay? So why? Because we are very used to. We just, so if we see the graph within 10 minutes, we'll finish off writing. So, but the thing here for you people, why we say don't try to write. So more than 150, 180 words means because we don't want you to get trapped in your own this one. What is that? Uh, mistakes. Why? Because more you write, you may commit more mistakes. More mistakes, more marks gone. They won't give extra, uh, this one, what is that? Uh, uh, any extra marks for writing 200 words. But they see all the mistakes. If you write, what is that? Uh, uh, this one, extra uh, sentences, you may commit extra mistakes. So extra mistakes will be counted, but extra sentences will not be counted. So therefore, it's always better to write 150 to 180 words. And why I present more words just because for you to understand. So yes, we can write so many things. No repetition. Did you see there any kind of repetition in spite of writing so many sentences? Did you see any kind of repetition? Did any idea, uh, this one, what does that give the reputation? Yeah, I'll be explaining the uh, final overview. Final overview, what did I do here is, let me, uh, I just gave the things here. What did we notice? Yeah, first five minutes, it was, the pH value was safer. Why it was not below the threshold, isn't it? So first, if you see the graph here, See, something, see, final overview, just remember one thing. After looking at the graph overall, what is that you get? And there is nothing like we can dedicatedly say that this is your final overview, this is your thing. It is you who will be nominating them. Okay, it is you who will be speaking it. So you put that thing in such a way. So what did I do? So I felt like, okay, first five minutes if you see. Only like, what is that? First five minutes from then only it was like dropping pH levels. Okay. And then after post 30 minutes, what is that? The pH levels of any sugar is increased. That means what? First five minutes and uh, post 30 minutes of the consumption of sugar. So he is safe there. Okay. That means it is safe for two decades. That is what the overall view I gave you. So uh, I did not present anything. What is that? Something like uh, where only intellectual people can do it. Nothing. You can see only looking at this graph only we presented the things here. Okay. So even you people can do these things very nicely. Uh, you people can do it. Okay. Uh, see, uh, K, uh, we, we have two, uh, this one, what is that? Two tasks. One is essay writing. One is your, uh, this one. What is that? Uh, uh, your report writing. Okay. Okay. So any, uh, any other doubts you have? Uh, are there any common mistakes that I should be aware of, uh, using numbers? Uh, 
writing section okay using numbers framing of sentences using inappropriate words so and also uh, taking the question in a different way and presenting something else and especially in report writing we see that uh, students will tend to what is that change the uh, subject only for example now sugar we are talking about sugar uh, sh different sugars now they'll start comparing the sh sugars there basically they are not actually describing the sugars there they are describing the amount of acid produced in the mouth because of the consumption of these sugars okay so this is what we basically have here okay so be aware of uh, so your uh, subject subject should be properly used don't just randomly write a run over sentences there one sentence is enough yeah one sentence is very much enough uh, priyanshi see totally how many sentences we need you know around 12 sentences we need to have two sentences in your introduction four sentences in first paragraph four sentences in second paragraph uh, that means first body paragraph I'm talking about. See, I won't consider introduction as first paragraph. When I, when I speak about paragraphs, so I'll be only talking about what? Body paragraphs. So first in introduction, we need only two sentences. Remember, okay. In the second uh, paragraph, that is your first body paragraph and second body paragraph, use four, four sentences. And the last paragraph use only, that is the final overview, you give one sentence there. Okay? Any doubts here? How to frame sentences, ma'am? Where can I practice? Uh, Rupesh, we need to see um, like what's problems, in, uh, what is your problem in frame, framing the sentence? Because framing the sentences, I would rather, uh, so I, I want to know whether basic, uh, this one sentence is only problem, or you people can make the sentence, but you have some grammatical errors on tenses or subject verb agreement or modifiers that you need to understand. Okay. So therefore, like, what is that? First, make it clear. So what exactly uh, your sentence look like? Okay. Whether it is filled with a lot of advanced grammar skills, or if, if that's so, then you try to, what is that work on? Uh, advanced grammar skills. And uh, if you are having issues to construct the sentence only, then the basic level you need to work on. Uh, Prakash, uh, everyone, it is in fact, we will be posting all these documents. Uh, so, uh, like once, see, today I completed uh, this one. What is that? Academic writing. So, by tomorrow, you will be getting academic writing, all these documents, so caps and uh, the practice sheets. Okay. So, and uh, tomorrow we'll start off with independent writings, related things we'll be posting on Friday. Okay. Ma'am, we have to keep a head link like uh, introduction and conclusion. No, you should not. You should not show this head links only. Oh, introduction, you are writing, then body paragraph one. No, no, no. It By default, the way you present should make us understand. Okay, first part was introduction. Second part was body paragraph one. Third part was body paragraph two. Like that, we need to understand. Okay? Now, let me let me discuss one more, uh, this one, uh, uh, paragraph, okay, quickly. I'll share the screen. Okay, so here I would like to, some, okay these numbers to graph thing now this is also something where people get confused or i'll just give the hints just give me one second i'm just making the space so that i can present the writing oh 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 just give me one second
okay so this is the two graph thing guys two graph thing if you get it is really good why no need of any tension already like you will be having two things two uh, for two body paragraphs you have two this one the first chart below shows the results of survey which sampled a cross section of 100,000 people asking if they traveled abroad and why they traveled for period uh, 1994 to 1998. The second chart shows their destinations over the same period. That means what it is a survey which is describing the purpose of travel and what is that where they traveled. Okay. So what is that? The purpose of travel and where they traveled. So th that is what we have. So introduction, how I'll be presenting. So here we have both two graphs here, isn't it? One is table, the another one is what? Your this one. Just give me one second. Just give me one second. So in the introduction, what I can do, so I can just write, just. OK, see, now writing the introduction is also an art. So what will be give, writing? The given, the given table. table and column graph column graph depicts or uh, presence or uh, the given table and column graph depicts depicts the reasons the number of the reasons reasons and the countries and the countries traveled uh, the reasons and the countries traveled by Britishers Britishers between between 1994 and 1998 respectively okay so what it is absorbed that the given table and this one within one sentence we smashed what it is given don't get worried oh what to write for this what not to write so now so here I'll be taking the highest thing. What is the highest reason? So where we see that holiday is the main purpose for these people to this one. Throughout, if you see, holiday is the main purpose. Okay. So in every year, holiday is the main purpose. And also Western Europe is the country which they prefer to travel, which they traveled mostly. Okay. A glance at these two graphs. A glance at these two graphs, two graphs makes it crystal clear, makes it crystal clear, crystal clear that most of, most of UK travelers, UK travelers traveled, traveled to Eastern Europe, Eastern Europe, so on holidays, holiday, right? So this is the thing we can take up, see the same thing just understand and present okay so that is what this is your introduction itself that's it okay so now 
when you are making the body paragraph. Now we have two graphs, so you people can talk about here. Now we have numbers. Now you may be thinking, ma'am, numbers we have. So how to write? So you can write. So what is that trend we are seeing? Everywhere you see that same trend. Every year you see what? The same trend. So uh, what is that we have? So same trend, holiday, it is increased. OK. So and uh, the purpose of business also has increased. But visit to uh, friends and relatives. So it is uh, this one. What is that? For between 1944 and 1995, there was a decrease in what? Other reasons and this one. But later on, it saw the increased trend. But in 1998, it decreased, this one. So only these decrease where there is something different happening, you people try to present this. OK. And here what it is, you can see that you're almost it is set, the same trend. So mostly they are visiting to Western Europe and other areas, very few number of people. However, there is an increase in the trend. So. North America is the second highest place. So overall, if you see, overall also you people can write what? Overall, uh, this one, uh, abroad visits have increased. Not only that, and overall visits to different countries also have increased. That is the overall, that final thing that you people can uh, give. So if time permits, let me just draft off this one, at least one paragraph for you. So. Uh, I'll be starting off with the sentence. The bar graph, or oh, sorry, the table, table presents, presents the statistical information, the statistical st information information that one two three four five in an how in a half decade in an half decade number of people number of uk citizens uk citizens visiting visiting abroad visiting abroad abroad on holiday on holiday uh business business and to meet friends and family friends and family has increased have as increased while while visiting other countries visiting other countries countries by these people by on other reasons on other reasons by these people, by these people have decreased, has decreased. Okay. So next thing. Then what is that we can say? We can also talk about the which is the second highest. So just next to the reason holiday, business is the second prominent reason. Business is the second prominent reason. Second prominent reason to visit to visit other places, other places, followed by that of followed by that for meeting 
friends and relatives friends and relatives okay however so ultimately i'll write the population citizens over the years over the years the proportion of people proportion overall proportion overall overall proportion of people people traveling abroad traveling abroad has increased has increased ultimate did we use anywhere the numbers but still the things are very clear na no? the things are very clear here in the same way you just write the three points here what is that the first we told you that, that already we have given in the this one uh you can say the second most visited place is what so your uh other areas so while the least visited place by uh, britishers is north america in all years okay well the proportion of the places visited is also increasing you people can just draft the things like that okay so it is very simple and clear guys so there is no like what is that uh, this one ma'am are we allowed to write in upper case upper case wherever it is required you should write so you should follow grammatical structure for proper nouns if you are starting the sentence with capital letters so you uh, if you are starting a sentence then you need to use the upper case otherwise it is not half this one half when we pronounce half uh, it is like sounding it uses the sound of vowel so that's the reason an is there oh we don't have any uh, this one uh, what is that answers you people need to write by yourself because plagiarism is strictly prohibited in ielts writing so we we give you how to make the uh, writings okay but we don't give you what is that so exactly you need to use uh, the, the you need to write like this we won't be giving that why because then we will be not basically uh, guiding you in a right way if we give the what is that samples and say that you just try and take an imprint no that is not allowed because plagiarism is clearly prohibited i'm using very strong words prohibited there if we are can we use upper case if we are given a language sanjana it is language so let it be computer based let it is upper case means not every letter should be upper case how you normally write a sentence like that even you need to normally type a sentence you can't write everything in capital letters or you can't type everything in uh, small letters so in your this one proper the way we write that you people need to do theek okay? hai so don't get confused upper case lower case normal how you, how you need to write english language in the same way and yes please avoid your uh, this one mobile language there okay mobile language kindly avoid what is that short form we write isn't it so therefore no short forms completely number while writing i write here no but it is not no n u m b e r you need to write i'm just giving you the example no shortcuts nothing proper pakka words you need to write
uh, this is what we have to remember. Yes, uh, Sandesh, you need to remember step by step, and the proper data has to be presented, and the structure should be clear. Your sentence should be clear cut. What you are trying to convey there, let this uh, sentence be having that particular thing there. Okay. Tips and this one, don't overwrite. Use pencils. Use pencils. Use erasers because overwriting, you will lose the score. Okay? So don't try to do that. Yeah, task two, I'll be continuing tomorrow. Not body paragraph two. I've given you the hints to write the body paragraph two. You people write it. So tomorrow I'm going to do task two, issue-based essay writings. Computer-based only if you people are good in typing. So you need to take computer-based. There is no auto-correction. Remember that you will have a very plain word document there. So no auto-correction, nothing. So if you are in the impression, oh, we'll have that auto-correction and uh, uh, facilities of net, uh, uh, this one and all, no. So that will not be happening. OK, uh, MK, kindly attend our listening sessions. So you will get the clarity on your uh, listening part also. Right? Any other queries, guys? OK. Is it reading based? So reading based, please log on to our reading sessions, uh, Sandesh. See, it's not highlighting. You see what you have not described overall in your writing that you present in your uh, this one. What is that closing statement? That's it. Okay. Don't don't try to make the things complicated. So you just be very clear. Initially, as soon as you see something, what is that highest lowest will be presenting? That will be initial thing. And what is uh, that? Uh, this one final overview. After analyzing everything, you will get that some point, right? That point you people need to write. Uh, but just remember that whatever you are writing in the final overview, let it not be in the body paragraph initial overview. Okay. So you present that particular thing. It is started, but again, we have this as rota classes. So you people will have again reading and speaking. So you people can join back again for the same. Uh, Nagarjun, how can we highlight? I have said that. Please say common words, ma'am, in writing. Common words, see, we have words. We actually see the words, knowledge you people have to develop. We'll not know what. A uh, question will come, what will come, because we cannot just randomly say this 10 words, 20 words, 100 words you use. Why? Because the questions could be anything. So the graphs could be anything. So according to the situation, you need to use. Now, if I say, uh, guys, you people work on this 100 words and use wherever you want. But if that the words should be used contextually. If that is that will not apply for the context, then it is waste, right? So therefore, please don't stick on to these uh, myths. Like if I work on 100 words, I can do it. If I have a, 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 this one template, I can get the good score. No, guys, please don't get trap of these things. So you're like what literally they want to see how you present your writing. So there is no shortcut. Only the shortcut is that you need to make sure you understand the test and you write your own ideas. You speak your own things. Okay. No copy paste, nothing, because that is literally a tragic thing uh, if you follow that. Okay. Then again, after giving the exam, after getting the result, you will get depressed. Oh, uh, see, after doing so much of mugging up also, I didn't get the score. So please don't do that. Okay. okay, then, guys, we'll see you tomorrow in the class. Bye. Thank you so much, ma'am.
All right. So guys, I've shared the Telegram channel link in the chat box. Uh, you can join the Telegram channel and make yourselves available with the various information that's posted then on a daily basis. Also, uh, some of the mock tests are there uploaded on the Telegram channel itself. But for the others, you can always uh, make yourselves available with the uh, extra features that we have, as in the one on one IELTS classes, which is just available to you at rupees uh, five triple nine in which you get five full length mock tests for your practice and also um, i shared the coupon code with you guys as well so make yourselves available with that also uh, if you want to upgrade yourself from basic to bronze membership all right anything else from your side that you want to know Yes, Lavanya, the world, uh, the word document would be shared with you. Don't worry. Sunday, just go on to the website over there. An upgrade option would be there. Uh, from that, you can directly um, use the coupon code. All right. So thank you so much, guys, for joining. I'll... The mock test would be available to you guys. Don't worry. Just join the Telegram channel as of now. All right. Uh, no, the bronze membership would be, it's a kind of membership only. So that's not limited to just one week. Don't worry, Ankita. Uh, yes, uh, Nagarjun, if you uh, have registered yourselves uh, on the website, you will get the link for the remaining sessions as well. All right. So thank you so much, guys, for joining. Now I'll close the call for today and we'll meet tomorrow for another session of writing itself. Thank you so much. All right, guys, I'll close the call for today. Thank you so much for joining. Do join tomorrow and stay tuned for the other sessions as well. List, uh, the, we have a whole cycle. So the listening uh, sessions would also be held. Like uh, it will be, uh, you will be updated about it. Don't worry. All right. Thank you so much, guys, for joining. I'm closing the call for today. Do join tomorrow for another session of, list, uh, of writing. That is writing session four. Thank you so much.